This weekend's mass shootings, two of them in two American cities, and now some Northwest Arkansans fear for their own safety. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Chelsea Helms. Fox 24's Andrew Epperson spoke to a man who says he's now worried about simply going out in public. That's right. He says he wants solutions rather than arguments. This after the El Paso shooting targeted immigrants and white nationalism is on the rise. White paper. Oops. oops. That's not how you spell white. <laughs> Hyatt Tuchiv and his son Ibrahim are getting ready for another school year. It's a cost that adds up, but I think it's doable. But with the weekend's mass shootings in Dayton, Ohio, and El Paso, Texas, Tuchiv has more important things on his mind. We were about to go to start shopping, but I'm a little bit worried about my family, especially taking kids out there, too. Uh, to buy those school supplies. Tuchiv moved to America years ago from Uzbekistan and identifies as a Muslim. 500 pages of white paper, golly, man. This puts him in the crosshairs of some of President Donald Trump's comments. Locally, we are, we think we are, we are safe, but there's no way of telling if there's somebody who is. Uh, goes out there and starts shooting in a public space like Walmart. Senator Tom Cotton says even though the El Paso shooter exhibited an intense hatred toward immigrants in his manifesto, Trump's comments can't be held responsible for what happened. Law enforcement is still trying to verify whether the El Paso shooter did in fact write a supposed manifesto. If he did, though, the very text of that manifesto said uh, this man has harbored this kind of race hatred well before Donald Trump. Tuchev says Everyone has his or her own ideas on how to stop these shootings, but it's time to act instead of argue. And I respect all opinions, but I think at this point, at some point, it gets like, I think it is there already, to where people are not safe to go out there just to simply shop because they can get killed. At least 31 people were killed in the weekend's mass shootings. Cotton says there's no place in America for racial hatred, white supremacy, or bigotry of any kind. In studio, Andrew Epperson, Fox 24 News.